Okay guys, so I've got a banger for you in this video. We are reviewing the classic showdown between Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao and Marco Antonio babyface assassin Barrera. This contest was a championship fight for the Lineal Ring Magazine World Featherweight title where Barrera was the current champion. This fight took place at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio just before Pacquiao faced off with Juan Manuel Marquez and just over two years after Barrera put on an absolute clinic against Nassim Hamed. Okay guys, thoughts and opinions at the end, let's get straight into the action. And you see the graphic that presages first round action, nine first round knockouts for Pacquiao, six for Barrera. Incidentally, 10,127 in the Alamo Dome for this fight, that's three fewer than the 10,130 who saw the promoter Oscar De La Hoya knock out David Kamau, June of 1997. Pacquiao reaching with the left hand. Barrera reaches out and goes to the body with both hands. Jim, I'd like to point out that. And Dickie Cole, or yes, Lawrence Two. Cole. Lawrence Cole's going to call that a knockdown Four. as he motions Five. Barrera to a neutral Six. corner and applies Seven. the count. Eight. And already Barrera has knocked Pacquiao down. And Pacquiao's saying, why? Why'd you call that a knockdown? I'm not sure that Cole saw that punch land. And I'm not sure that a punch did land. We'll have to take a look at a replay to see exactly what happened. I didn't see a heavy punch land. It looked as much like a slip as anything else. Surprisingly, but we're as much more aggressive than I expected. Normally when he fights southpaws, he's more of a conservative, laid-back counterpuncher. Hard left hand to the body by Pacquiao. Barrera seems to have come in here with the idea of fighting fire with fire, Manny. Yes, he's changing. He's making Pacquiao back back, something that Pacquiao was not prepared for. Barrera takes a couple of hard punches right up the middle as Pacquiao lands a one-two. Marco seems to want to counter the body when Pacquiao goes upstairs. So Pacquiao comes downstairs and goes to the body to set up the left hand upstairs through the guard. Three of uh, Barrera's last five fights have been with southpaws, which means he should be very comfortable in this fight fighting a southpaw. Well, he's a great technician with brilliant footwork, but already you see that Pacquiao has a reach advantage. Barrera can't seem to counter back accurately when Pacquiao lands over the top. Now Barrera goes with the body, the left hooks. Pacquiao coming upstairs with a left uppercut. Great action in the first round as Pacquiao tries to establish a statement after the knockdown ruling by Lawrence Cole. Hard right hand of the body by Pacquiao. Barrera with a little left hand counter upstairs. Barrera short with a jab. Pacquiao lands his jab. Reach advantage for the Filipino fighter. Barrera seeming to try to step forward and dial the jab in. Staring at Pacquiao's chest. Left hand counter by Barrera. Now he lands the jab. He's closed the distance between the two of them, Emmanuel. Yes, I'm looking for... Pacquiao is trying to find a way to get his straight left hand through the center, but he cannot seem to find the target with Barrera. When we go to the corners, in Pacquiao's corner, where they might speak Tagalog, our interpreter is Ernie Kalua. In Barrera's corner, where they will speak Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. Good left hand to the body, and a left upstairs by Marco Antonio Barrera to punctuate round number one. Now let's see what happened on that knockdown. Or was it a knockdown? Uh, a straight left landed by Pacquiao. When he landed, he twisted his body in an angle where he lost his balance. It was not a punch. Definitely not a punch. Should I have been called a knockdown. I scored that round 10 to 9 for Barrera because he got a credit for a knockdown, not the 10 to 8 that a knockdown usually is. Yeah, Harold Letterman goes with the 10 8 because it was officially ruled a knockdown. I'm sure that's the point Harold would make. Copy box numbers in round one. Barrera 21 out of 59. Pacquiao 15 out of 56. Pacquiao didn't come here expecting to win a decision. Trainer Freddie Roach says, we've got to go in and force Wait. Barrera into a war. Barrera is successfully keeping Pacquiao 
on the end of that hard jab so far. He's not letting Pacquiao get inside where he can let loose his perhaps faster fists. Barrera is right now using the jab very effectively, trying to get his range, and I think he's going to shoot the jab at a slow speed and then counter with a fast right hand whenever Pacquiao gets past the jab. But he's using the jab now as pretty much to keep him preoccupied. Barrera has also begun to block more of Pacquiao's punches upstairs with his gloves. So Barrera making a key tactical move midway through the first round when he stepped forward one step to get into range to land his jab, and since that time, he's been tactically in control. Tactically in control with the jab, but Pacquiao's trying to take control. He's, 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 is this going to be a good fight because neither guy's going to accept the other guy controlling the fight? Well, Pacquiao has been getting his left hand in just like there. He's had four or five of them, six in the last 30 seconds. Pacquiao scraping Barrera now with one-two combinations upstairs. Landing his jab and landing three left hands behind the jab in that sequence. Yeah, Pacquiao seems to be getting his rhythm going now. Barrera's taking his time, bidding his time, but he's got to get back to using that left jab a lot more. Because if he doesn't, Pacquiao's going to get that rhythm back again and eventually start putting something that's going to get through the gloves eventually. Even in the middle of all-out wars, Marco Antonio Barrera is an amazingly patient fighter. And they call him, of course, the baby-faced assassin. It'd probably be better to call him the poker-faced assassin. He never shows emotion in the ring. Big combination by Barrera as he catches Pacquiao coming in. Manny comes back with body shots of his own. Hard body shots from Pacquiao. And at this stage, the clear punches for the most part of this round are still being landed by Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao has come out with a determined rally in round two. Trying to get back up on the scorecards after that strange knockdown ruling in round number one. In the second round, by CompuBox count, Manny Pacquiao threw 100 punches and landed 31 out of 63 power shots. So and he I, used a lot of energy in that round, Emmanuel. And I yes. thought that Barrera was having real trouble dealing with that straight left hand. And with Pacquiao's hand speed. Well, I think the speed and the rhythm that Pacquiao is using now is beginning to bother Barrera a little bit. Barrera with a little swelling around the left eye. Perhaps the product of Pacquiao's long right jab. There is that Never this early in a fight. There is that left hand again. Yes, he doesn't right. see it coming, or he just can't cope with its speed. Well, Packer's got a little rhythm. He doesn't just come straight in. He goes a little kind of semi-Mike Tyson in and out, in and out, side to side. And then he shoots his right hand straight through the center. Yeah. There are probably some in this arena who didn't really know who Manny Pacquiao was or what his chances might be against Marco Antonio Barrera. Now they know as Pacquiao tries to go ahead and finish Barrera right here in the third round. And he's getting reckless and Barrera takes advantage. What a fight. Is Barrera prepared to fight this kind of fight? at this stage of his career. He hadn't had one since February 2000. Not like this. Pacquiao is strafing Barrera with left hands. Marco's hanging in now. He's tasted the power, but Manny's having another big round. Yeah, the great round. I don't know if Barrera's going to survive it, but if he does, can survive this round, and Pacquiao runs out of gas a few rounds later, Pacquiao's going to be in trouble, but at this stage right here, everything Barrera. is great for Pacquiao at this stage right Pacquiao here. Pacquiao coming right through the right-hand counter. Landed another big left hand. A wobbly Barrera trying to fend him off. That's the most desperate look I've ever seen on Marco Antonio's face. And Barrera's always been the most vulnerable when he shoots his jab because he jabs and he pushes it out and leaves a gap straight through the center to get hit with a straight left. If there's a weakness, weakness in Manny Pacquiao's arsenal, it's a tendency to become over-aggressive when he has his man on the defensive. Both of his losses early in his career, knockout losses against lesser fighters who caught him when he was going after them. He's starting to slow down right now, but Barrera's still looking so slow and lethargic, he's not able to even take advantage of the reduction in speed that Pacquiao is showing. 
If it weren't for Cole's knockdown ruling in the first round, Barrera may have been down three rounds to none at this point, and with a knockdown point for Pacquiao. Oh. Straight left through the center. Perfect punch. That's what Pacquiao has been trying to do all night long, and he finally landed it. Right on the jaw. You're watching just now. as Barrera said, he can see himself in Pacquiao, a young, hungry, ambitious little warrior. A super aggressive fighter. Pacquiao, who had thrown 100 punches in the second round, threw 85 in the third round, landing 34, including 29 power shots. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim, two to one, 28 to 27, Manny Pacquiao. Uh, on Larry's call of, of the non-knockdown in the first round, if the referee rules it a knockdown, you gotta go 10-8, unless the opponent who got knocked down comes back with a strong rally, at which point it will come, become 10-9. I know that's the rule, Harold, but I also think we ought to use common sense and that if we have the advantage of seeing uh, the replay, uh, we ought to apply some common sense. Yeah, but Harold's trying to do it the way the official judges would do it, Larry, right. which means without the benefit of television replay. Well, that's where Harold and I sometimes uh, agree to disagree. Yes, but that means that you're not <laughs> scoring like an official judge. Pacquiao seems to have gotten his rhythm back together again. And Barrera seems to just still look a little too slow. Even when he's punching, he doesn't seem to have the speed that he once had. Well, compared to Pacquiao, he doesn't. Yeah, the very first round when he came out, Barrera seemingly had speed, but after getting hit with that straight left, seemingly not only has he slowed down a little bit, but it seemed like he's maybe a little too cautious even at this stage. Barrera's going to have to find a way to use Pacquiao's superior speed and aggression against him. Barrera's going to have to counter to victory if tonight if he's going to be able to win. At this stage, Barrera still looks like he's very vulnerable for that straight left through the center. And more protective than we've ever seen him. As he's now definitely trying to stay away and not always able to do it. Now Barrera counters back and momentarily stuns Pacquiao with a one-two. Pacquiao comes back, misses with the right, barely glances with the left. Hard left hand lands for Pacquiao. Barrera seems to have almost conceded to Pacquiao that he can't stand and go toe-to-toe -to -toe because of Pacquiao's fast hands. And now he's just trying to beat him with his yeah. boxing ability. He's going to have to I find angles. You, I agree with you. It seems like he's conceded. And Pacquiao's got that little rhythm that still is bothering him. And he punches off of that rhythm. Good uppercut by Barrera. They touch gloves. Freddie Roach, Pacquiao's trainer, said, don't start touching gloves with Marco Antonio Barrera. Don't go in there and treat him like the nice guy and the gentleman that he is. Roach wants Pacquiao to disrespect Barrera, and so far he's done it. He's doing a great job of it, too. And every time that Barrera jabs, he draws his right hand to his right side of his head, which means he's very, very vulnerable for straight left. Barrera getting three chances to counter with the left hook, but taking a lot of leather to do it. Barrera's left eye is now starting to swell badly. Manny Pacquiao smiling as he continues to strike Barrera from range. Manny, I don't see an end swell in Barrera's corner, and that left eye is starting to puff up. No, I don't think they were prepared for this type of a fight to begin with. And, and Packer seems like he's got his confidence, and he's meeting Barrera with fury face-to-face. -face. Whenever Barrera tries to challenge him back, he's not giving in. And Barrera just cannot figure his movements out. Comfy box numbers in the fourth round again. Favorite Pacquiao, particularly the 18-7 edge in Power Connects. It's been a power punching festival for Manny Pacquiao in the first four rounds. Quicker than Barrera, longer than Barrera, more aggressive than Barrera, landing harder than Barrera. Marco hoping that Pacquiao will run out of gas a little bit as he moves and buys time. Barrera's training for the fight was temporarily interrupted when the little town of Big Bear in the mountains of California was surrounded by fire and he had to vacate the training camp. Came here to San Antonio two weeks earlier than he might have expected. Pacquiao trains right in Hollywood, right amid all the movie stars. 
at Bayern and Santa Monica. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Herrera just trying to stay away. Left hand lands for Pacquiao in that combination. Break. No need for Manny to get reckless now. He's winning every round. It looks like, I don't know, the round may have a bad cut on his left cheek. It's either a cut or a mark of some sort. It is not dripping blood. No. It's probably a mark of some kind. But, but, but Pacquiao Another shooting. hard left Pac hand for Pacquiao, who's getting a chance to target it. Pacquiao shooting nothing but straight shots directly through that gap in the center of the round. Not shooting so much hooks, maybe just through the center. Even though Marco Antonio Barrera is only 29 years old, he's been a fighting professional for 50 years, and or 15 years, I should say. And there are moments here when Pacquiao has made him look older than his years. Yes, he has. It looks like he's been fighting maybe about 20 years and started a professional when he was 30. But Barrera knew that Pacquiao would be bouncy, with energy, live, vibrant in there. Barrera knew exactly what Pacquiao wanted to do. He hadn't been able to do enough about it so far. Marco backing Pacquiao off with a counter run. Pace slows in round five. That helps Barrera. It's hard to overstate how big a victory would be for Pacquiao in the Philippines. This fight there is perceived as Ali Fraser won. Preach, boy. Oh, beautiful right cross. It came right back after shooting his left. He slowed in round five to something more like Barrera wants, but still, Pacquiao landed 16 out of 42 power shots. Barrera only got 14 of them off. So it appears to be another round that Pacquiao is likely to have won. Barrera hasn't really found any answers since round one. I'm thinking of something Larry Merchant told me a long time ago, Manny. Younger, stronger, faster, hungrier usually wins. Yeah, that's pretty much what Barrera told you also <laughs> yesterday when you interviewed him. He said that it, Pacquiao reminds him a lot of himself. And it's really hard to beat a good fighter that has a lot of spirit, a lot of determination. But let's remember that this is, in a, in a real sense, Barrera's hometown. This is where uh, Julio Cesar Chavez got a draw with Julio, I mean, with uh, Cornell Whitaker, right? right? Lost nine or ten rounds and got a draw out of it. One of the worst decisions of the last ten years. I don't like a lot of those fighters, which are the victims, so to say, of bad decisions. I don't think the Pacquiao's going to take off at the last few rounds and ease up at all. I think he's going to fight the same pace and not take a break at the end of the fight. These are Texas judges here tonight, too. Those are governing body judges who gave Chavez his draw with Whitaker. Pacquiao going to the body effectively. Starting to dominate every area of the fight now. Barrera gets a hard right hand back. Thinks he's hurt Pacquiao. Chases him down a little bit. Manny raises his arms to say, yeah, come on, trade with me. You know I want you to trade with me. <laughs> First Hard point. left to the body by Pacquiao. You know, that rally suggests it's a little early to count out a great pro like Barrera. Still got half a fight to go after this. Well, Barrera's the kind of fighter who can win a fight when he's outgunned, but right, no when he's back. this much outgunned? Yeah, this, this kid is fighting with so much speed and so much determination. I don't think he's going to collapse going down the stretch. And Barrera just doesn't seem to have the speed tonight. Crowd comes alive as Barrera, for the moment, gives as good as he takes. Another right hand over the top. This is a round that judges could give to Barrera if they're looking for one to give to Marco. But Pacquiao's body punches set up another knockdown. Nope. It's not a knockdown. 
Their feet must have been tangled up. I'll tell you what, that was a hard left hand. And there's another one like... That looked like more of a knockdown, certainly, than the one in the first round. No question about it. Combinations. Let's right see. there, you see, he's throwing the combinations after dropping underneath, and Barrera was off balance. But you could call it a knockdown because any blow that lands above the waist that causes a person to go down legally is a knockdown. Hey, knockdown. <laughs> it was more of a knockdown than the first one. Way more. Power punches in round six. Pacquiao landed 32 out of 67. That's his high number for the fight. Harold Letterman, have you found any round since the first <laughs> to give to Barrera? <laughs> no, Jim. Five rounds to one. 58, 54, Manny Pacquiao. Jim on a knockdown. Marco Antonio Barrera hit the wet spot. You know where it's painted over there. His legs clearly came out from under him. I got to agree with Lawrence Cole. It was a slip. Uh, other than that, Pacquiao, too aggressive, landing the hardest shots. Question. If he hit the wet spot, and that's why he went down, why didn't they stop the fight and wipe the wet spot? Well, before the fight, they tried, without question, to wipe that wet spot. They were using paper towels, then they used the towel. It gets wet from sweat, there's no question. Round seven begins the way all the other rounds have begun, with Pacquiao firing combinations and landing them. And he backs Barrera into the ropes and hammers him again. And now there's a big cut on Barrera's left eye, and he's claiming that he was butted. And Pacquiao's grin is getting bigger. There is blood dripping. Axel headbutt. Axel, come here. No, no, no. And you hear Lawrence Cole saying accidental headbutt, and it is a big cut. Barrera's been cut many times before. That's a bad one, although it's small. And frankly, you know, if he chooses to stop, they go to the scorecards and he loses. So he's got no he's got no real competitive choice other than to keep going uh, under any circumstance. It's not really his choice. If he stop if he chooses not to fight, then it's the fight's if, over if, and it's every a indication is that he doesn't want to fight anymore. Even though I feel that the cut, even though it's bad, it probably could be stopped. But I don't think he wants to fight anymore. Let's go. He should be talking. You got your mouthpiece? Get your mouthpiece in. Herrera oh. seemed to be asking for a DQ against Pacquiao, but Cole had already ruled it an accidental butt. Marco's in a lot of pain, as he showed you. His corner was asking for the left hook to the body. I don't know if it make that much difference now, Manny. No, I think this stage, yeah, I think the momentum is definitely with Pacquiao, and it's, I don't think it's going to change either. Herrera wincing, the blood dripping into the corner of his eye. And Packer is still determined not to let him take control over the fight. Even when he throws back, he's determined to come right back. Right. Herrera desperately trying to land a punch that could stave off this little avalanche coming at him. Perfect word. It's been an avalanche. The irresistible force of Manny Pacquiao. Now the right jab is coming. Good up cut by Barrera. Left hand counter. Stunned Pacquiao. Barrera backs him into the ropes. Again, Pacquiao raises his arms and says, trade with me, come on. But that exchange belonged to Barrera. The exchange definitely belonged to Barrera. But the, the spirit and the, the movement by the fight is definitely Pacquiao. Stop. Now Barrera butts Pacquiao intentionally, oh. and you saw it. He went right at him with his head. Referee Lawrence Cole properly warning Barrera about that. Right here, you see Pacquiao shooting in, shooting it straight left, and while he's finishing up here, his head accidentally bangs in. I mean, it is something that was definitely an accident. But I think the fact that Barrera is uncomfortable with the way the fight is going, he wanted to use as an excuse possible to have the fight terminated. And there was Barrera's butt attempt against Pacquiao. When I said the cut was bad, I was referring to the location, but as Manny pointed out, amazingly, it seemed to stop bleeding on its own during the course of that seventh round. Now we go to the eighth.
Time running out on Marco Antonio Barrera, who hasn't won enough rounds to really be in the fight and hasn't shown enough power versus Pacquiao to turn this thing around. It's going to be a slugfest from here on in. Barrera understands he can't box for a minute with any move. He's not going to try to box him. He's going to trade. These guys no charge, but he's behind on punch. And and what's interesting, there's another bad head but But Pacquiao came back so right. fast that the referee didn't get a chance to really see it. Marco Antonio Barrera taking by far the worst physical beating of his career. Yeah, he's taking a lot of bad butts, Sean, at the same time. But also the right jab following the left hand is becoming a very effective punch in the fight now for Pacquiao. There may be a second nick over Barrera's eye. Yeah, because he got butted again very badly. The angle that they collide seems to always favor Pacquiao landing his head in the right position where Barrera gets to cut. Pacquiao throwing many more punches as he hammers away at Barrera. Again, Marco has to hope that he'll catch Pacquiao coming in with something big. And he'll try. That right uppercut beginning to be a weapon for Barrera as Pacquiao charges forward. Pacquiao could be emerging in this fight as the second exciting fighter to come on the scene this year following Mayorga. Perhaps with more skill and not quite as much power in his weight class. But, but it brings a lot of spirit too much like Mayorga. And that, that's really a quality that is hard to give a fighter. A lot of determination. Pacquiao also trying to define himself as the greatest fighter ever from the Philippines. Out distancing Jerry Penalosa, Luisito uh, Espinosa, and the great Flash Elorde from decades back. Hard left hand by Barrera. Backs Pacquiao up. Hard right hand by Barrera. Uppercut landed. Didn't manage to really hurt Pacquiao. And ticket buyers then did tonight's fight. You can see once again the right jab is coming across being a very effective punch as well as the headbutt. So Pacquiao's beating Barrera both with punches and with his head. I got it. Hard driver Manny Pacquiao comes forward at every moment. They touch gloves to begin the night. Pacquiao giving Barrera momentary breathing space and Marco takes advantage to drive him into the ropes and try to mount some aggression. Uppercut by Barrera landed sharply to the body. Pacquiao lands a left hand. Barrera counters back with a left and a right. Big punches from Pacquiao. And again, the power deficit shows as Barrera just backs up, taking those shots. Barrera's going to have to try to let it all hang out because he, right now he cannot time the rhythm and the movement of Pacquiao. The punches, and Pacquiao is smart. He's not really throwing hard punches now. He's throwing volumes of punches. Just enough to keep him busy and to try to do more damage to that cut. Doesn't it appear, though, that the likely effect of Barrera opening up is that he's going to risk getting knocked out by Pacquiao? Yeah, but I don't think he has a choice. I mean, this is a where you're I can safely coach to lose on a decision. I can gamble and let it all go out for a knockout. I would, in that case, I would try to go all out for a knockout because he can't handle the speed of the movement of this guy. So in that case, you just have to go for your power. Pacquiao showing tremendous stamina. Doesn't seem to want to slow down at all. And now Dickie Cole is going to warn Manny Pacquiao. Mitch corner. Time. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. All right. Minus right one against there. Barrera. I think because Barrera, I think, hit him maybe on the break. Just out of his frustration. Right. Well, I think it was, it, it was a, uh, did he talk a, about a, it? A, a, a quick little headbutt, and I, it was out of his frustration. Either the headbutter hitting on the break either way, 
The minus one means nothing to Barrera now. Minus 40 wouldn't hurt him. He can't win a decision. Pacquiao's really finding a home for that straight left and that right jab over the shoulder. Does Barrera have the magic to, to overturn nine rounds of a beating? I don't believe so, because he's never in the past been known as a devastating one-punch knockout guy. He systematically dismounts his guys, but never just a one-punch fighter. Right. So I, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. punishment, left hand to the body weakens opponents. He hasn't landed that left hand to the body enough to weaken any, any of Manny Pacquiao's assault. And when he does punch, he's not punching Simeon with the confidence that he has shown in the past. Big left hand again by Pacquiao. Herrera having trouble seeing out of his left eye. Herrera talking to the referee and saying, what about him? Pacquiao just hammering him. Just hammering him. Right to left. The verse mouthpiece. Push that out, and that's that's not normal for an experienced veteran fighter. Here you hear Pacquiao's putting together punches right now. Not necessarily a hard punch, just a fuselage of punches coming from all angles, and that's and that's what you should do when you have a fighter tired like this. Right, and he and is. That's exactly what I thought it was. You know, Threw 100 punches in the, in the first Another round, break. and he's still at that high level. That is another definition of youth. Well, he landed 33 power punches by CompuBox count in the ninth round. That's his biggest output of the fight so far. Harold, how do you have it through nine? <laughs> okay, Jim. Eight rounds to one, 88 to 80. Manny Pacquiao just too aggressive, landed too many shots, and that's all there is to it. Jim, one quick point. In round seven, Lawrence what? Cole asked the referee after the headbutt. Uh, oh, no. he, he asked the doctor, can. Marco Antonio Barrera continue. The reason for that is if the doctor said he, he can continue, he has to continue or he loses by TKO. More and more, it looks as though Barrera is doomed to just play out the string here. Yeah, he's just trying to go to distance. Seems like the desire to win, uh, to pull a fight out, no longer is, is in his mind anymore. Certainly doesn't show here in the 10th round. No, he doesn't show it. He's retreating. He's doing enough to just get by. Seems like he's just about to push his mouthpiece out at times. It looks like he wants the dubious honor of finishing the fight. Or maybe he wants to see if Pacquiao can somehow slow down in the last two rounds. Manny has never fought. Past the tenth. I don't know if there's a rematch clause in their contract, but off of this, I'm not sure that even if there is, that Barrera would want to fight this little tiger again. Well, what you have is Manny Pacquiao annihilating a guy who was universally ranked coming in as one of the five or six best pound for pound fighters in the sport. But, Larry, that's a good question, but I asked Oscar that at the fighters being yesterday, but I was concerned because I had a Good feeling that what is happening was going to happen tonight, and Oscar did say he did have a rematch clause. But I agree with you. I don't know if Barrera wants to fight. Yeah, I'm not sure. What was the strategy for the rematch? Yeah, don't do me any favors like that. The only possible strategy for the rematch is poison his food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't see anything would be any difference if they ever follow the match. Think we're going to get to go to Manila, guys? Well, I tell you what, as big as he is down there and after this performance tonight, whatever he demands, we're going to have to consider it to some degree. Superstar in the making, Manny Pacquiao with a sensational performance so far. Assaulting Marco Antonio Barrera. Mugging him and about to leave him in the gutter. Manny. There's Freddy a straight Roach. left again, right Pacquiao's through the center. trainer believes that Barrera is ready to be taken out. 
He's urging Pacquiao to go for it. He doesn't want to leave anything to chance here in San Antonio. And what I like about this fight, Pacquiao is fighting with the same spirit and determination. He's not coasting. He's not lighting it up like a lot of the fighters have been recently, which has permitted him to be victim of these so-called bad decisions. He's fighting with the same intensity and determination that he fought with in the beginning of the fight. Yeah, I think if Marco Antonio Barrera is going to make it to the finish line, he's going to have to eat a lot of left hands to do it. Whenever you fight a good fighter, a great fighter, such as a Muhammad Ali, a Evander Holyfield, even a Roy Jones, you have to be prepared for late in the fight that once these guys realize that they're losing, they usually make that desperate move. And you're going to have to keep fighting them back when they make that move. If you slow down, you'll lose the fight off them. That's why those guys win a lot of close controversial decisions because they finish up strong. You have to wonder now whether the rematch third fight with Eric Morales will ever happen for Barrera. Right now, it's very hard to see Barrera in any major fight right now after the show. This is a yeah, man, he's taken a tremendous beating. In yeah. fact, my question is, as great as Barrera is, should his corner keep sending him out to take this kind of punishment? That's a good question. It's not well, about winning. I don't, I don't know that his pride would permit him not to to go to the end. I can't imagine that it would, but he's going to pay a heavy price in these last two rounds unless something changes. And in addition to the straight left, Pacquiao is now being very effective with that right jab coming right over the shoulder, more like a right cross, really. Well, and you heard Freddie Roach saying if you can land a right hook and follow it with the left, you're going to knock him out. So Pacquiao is looking for that right hook opportunity. And Barrera's just eating leather. This is a fight that will shake up the boxing world. Sure will. Herrera is one of the highest regarded fighters in the world. He's an icon. One of the most, been one of the most entertaining fighters in the world. One of the most complete fighters Five, in the world. Six, one of the most knocked down fighters in the world eight. right at this moment. Come to me. Thank you. Thank you. You're hitting the belly and he Second official knockdown of the fight for Pacquiao. He's right and on top of Herrera. Pacquiao was right there as soon as the referee. He looked like Jack Dipsy away. against Jess Willard. Yeah. yeah well, I think Barrera almost went down from exhaustion. Yes. In, in that in that occasion. But officially should agree. have been knocked down. But he's taken a lot of left hands. I wouldn't send him out for the 12th round, Manny. No. I don't care how proud he is. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. No, because Pac guy is not backing off. If you had a guy that was he's holding him, hurt. Off, here comes Barrera's him. corner. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good decision. Finally, they could have done that two rounds ago. The winner and new featherweight champion of the world, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. So guys, an amazing fight between two legends. Whenever great nations in boxing such as the Philippines and Mexico collide, there are always fireworks and a great performance is an expectation. So before this fight with Pacquiao, Barrera had beaten Eric Morales to become the WBC World Featherweight Champion and awarded the Ring Magazine Lineal World Featherweight Championship. Due to some issues with the WBC, Barrera immediately rejected and vacated the belt, but remained the lineal Ring Magazine world champion. Straight after that, he made two defenses of this particular title against Johnny Tapia and Kevin Kelly before losing it to Pacquiao in this fight. Now at the time of the fight, Pacquiao was relatively unknown as many of his fights had occurred in the Philippines. He had fought a few times in the US but against limited opposition so there was no real knowledge of who he was within the boxing world up to this point. Despite Pacquiao already being a world champion in two divisions through Gabriel Mira taking the WBC world flyweight title and through Lelo Ledwaba taking the IBF world super bantamweight title in this fight, Pacquiao made his global introduction a statement against a formidable Mexican champion. In this fight, Pacquiao was relentless. He was equipped with the power to wreak havoc on any opponent. He possessed many gears of speed to cycle through, footwork to create awkward angles, and a supersized engine that would allow him to work at full capacity by round 12 without any signs of fatigue. 
the intensity his opponents must have felt and no doubt Barrera in this fight would have been overwhelming. It was clear to all the boxing pundits that Pac-Man had arrived on the world scene and was instantly a superstar. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please remember to smash that like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular update. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section if you want to add anything about Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. So until my next one, peace out.